guys, welcome back. This month we're talking about epic stories in the Old Testament of the Bible. Last week we learned that we can spend time with God anywhere we are. We don't need a special temple and we don't need a tabernacle to spend time with God, right? So today we're going to see how we can trust God. Have you ever had to find something or let's say you played I spy with your friends or your family? Moses sent 12 spies into the land of Canaan, also called the Promised Land. He wanted to know if the land was livable. Well, the spies came back and they brought the things that Moses asked for. But 10 of the spies came back telling Moses, go no further, stay where you are. And then there were two special spies. Their names were Joshua and Caleb, and they had something different to say. Let's see how they trusted God. Hey everyone, are you ready to hear an epic story about spies and secret missions? Cool, me too. It begins at Mount Sinai. You might remember this place from last week. The Israelites, God's chosen people, had been hanging out there for a year. Then the cloud of God's presence moved and led them into the wilderness. The people began to grumble and wish they hadn't followed Moses. Even Moses' brother and sister told him they were unhappy with how things were going. But they were headed to a special land God had promised to them. So that's great news! But about halfway there, God told Moses he should stop in the desert and send 12 spies ahead to investigate. 10 spies came back and said the Israelites should turn around. They said it was dangerous. But two spies, Joshua and Caleb, gave a different report. They said, yes, there's danger but we can trust God will take care of us. Moses, their leader, agreed. But the Israelites were afraid. They wanted to turn around. Joshua and Caleb pleaded with the people. They told them that where they were going was flowing with milk and honey. They said that God had prepared something amazing for them. Over and over they told the people, we can trust God. Eventually, the Israelites decided to move forward to the Promised Land. And it wasn't an easy journey. But when they got there, it was worth it. We're right. What God had prepared for them was incredible. Just like the Israelites, even when things look scary or hard, I can trust God too. So right now, I want you to write trust in big letters on a piece of paper. And I want you to write down who you can trust. Write down everybody that you can think of. Then talk about what is trust. Is it believing someone? Is it knowing that someone is telling the truth? Is it being responsible? Then talk about how do you lose trust? Is it lying or by cheating? or maybe breaking a promise. And then talk to your kiddos about, is God trustworthy? Let's say that this represents trust. Trusting in God. That means we know that he's in control of everything. And let's say that this cup represents worry. Does God want us to worry? Let's see what happens when we mix trust and worry together. Can we trust and worry at the same time? We absolutely cannot. You see how worry sits at the top and trust is at the bottom? The 10 spies were worried and they couldn't trust God because remember, worry and trust don't go together. 
but Caleb and Joshua chose to trust God, and so worry could not exist. And because they trusted God, they were able to do His will, and God was able to lead them to the Promised Land. First Samuel twelve twenty four, but be sure to fear the Lord and serve Him faithfully with all your heart. Hey, parents! So. I will go ahead and link some really fun worship music for you and um, as far as activities why don't you play I Spy with your kids. You can play outside, you can play inside. Something that might make it fun is if you use a magnifying glass and then I Spy something small. Make it kind of hard for them and then have them bring it back to you. The other game that I was thinking that would be fun is a trust fall with your kids. You know, catch your kid. Do it several times and then explain to him or her that God will lead us when we trust him, that sometimes he'll even carry us where he wants us to be. As far as crafts go, there's a fun grape craft they can do. All you need is construction paper and maybe a pen. Um, draw a simple vine and use strips of construction paper in either green or purple and loop them around with tape and glue them to the page like a cluster of grapes and then write trust at the bottom. Um, the other craft is an I Spy monocular. For this one you would use a toilet paper roll and a Dixie cup or any sort of paper cup. Cut out the bottom of the paper cup and glue it to the toilet paper roll and then decorate it however you want. I used construction paper and foam letters and washi tape to decorate it, but you can do it however you want. Um, that's really fun. They can even make that and then play the I Spy game with that if you don't want to do the magnifying glass. That gives you some really fun stuff to do this week with your kiddos. We are thinking about you. We are praying for our families. If there's anything that you need, feel free to reach out. Some families are big, some families are small. God's grace keeps our family one and all. Bye.